Colorado is at it again, pioneering and setting the bar for next-gen technology. It's going to set the certification standard for future remote towers with the FAA. The Colorado Remote Tower Project, technology designed to enhance airport safety and efficiency by allowing air traffic at the Northern Colorado Regional Airport to be controlled from a remote location. There are situations where having that extra set of eyes, such as what you'll have here in the future, will be able to provide that additional level of safety for our users. At this point, we have uh, since about August of 2018 through today, which is uh, January 2019, been able to put in all the infrastructure needed to support the system. That's the camera masts, that's all the uh, utility infrastructure, power, uh, uh, data lines, the, the fiber optic cables that provide the information back to the, the control center, which is right behind me. Now we've actually entered into the, the passive testing phase, which is the first of three phases of testing. The next phase will see actual air traffic control tower operations taking place from the remote facility, and that will continue until the end when the system is certified and it's up and running on a permanent basis at FNL. The goal is to have this system fully functional and certified by the FAA in the year 2021. That's another thing that pilots are, are asking and you know frequently wondering, is ADSB gonna be needed? Are we gonna have to have you know, mode C transponders? The answer is no. From a pilot perspective, the uh, tower will function just like a traditional air traffic control tower. To the pilot, it will be transparent how it works. Be sure to check out coloradoremotetower.com for more information and updates on this monumental project. The Colorado Remote Tower Project is funded by the Colorado Division of Aeronautics Aviation Fund and administered by the Federal Aviation Administration. This project would not be possible without a strong partnership with the Northern Colorado Regional Airport, Sea Ridge Technologies, William E. Payne & Associates, and the National Air Traffic Controllers Association.